Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and uh, we're coming back for part two of World Edit. Now, I went over already like selecting and pasting and some of the very basic commands <clears throat> that you need to know to get started in World Edit. So let's do some uh, utilities and generation tools because there is a lot of them. Um, there's, it's just basically to help help you build landscapes. The first is you can make a, a hollow cylinder. So H seal, and then we'll make it block, and then we'll have a radius of 10, and then a height of 15. Now, I, I would suggest downloading the world, world edit reference because it's so hard to remember all these commands. Go check it out. I'll put the link in the description. Also, you can download this server. The link is in the description. I already set up the craft scripts and all that stuff, which I'll show you in a moment and uh, how to use those. So <clears throat> here's the hollow cylinder. Bam! So now it made it, uh, <clears throat> what do we say, 15 high and a radius of 10. So you can use those. You can make it out of any blocks. That's the first command in there. So you can also make it a filled cylinder, um, you know, so if you just take away the H, I'll just, uh, blah, 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 and we'll make it a, a little, little smaller, I suppose. Might as well. There we go. Oh, now here's a fun little command. Here's um, getting around. If you ever spawn something and you're stuck, just type in unstuck, and it'll pop you directly up to whatever. So now, now we got a filled circle, cylinder. Um. You need to make a hollow sphere as well. Let's go H sphere, sphere, make it out of stone again. Um, or we could do diamond block, I suppose. Let's try it like that. Hollow sphere, diameter, um, or radius. It just asks me for the radius. So let's just do five. So now we made a, uh, and I'm stuck inside of it. There we go. You can make a, a filled sphere as well. Uh, move it up, okay. And which is the same the same command, only it's um, there we go. And then you want to use your unstuck command to get out of it. Um, that's pretty straightforward. And then the other the one that's kind of fun is um, standing wherever. I wonder if it'll even work because this is sand. Okay, let's do this. Um, actually, let's let's go back here where we spawn this little. Uh, um, yeah, this thing right here, this little dirt platform. Um, if you want to make a forest, you can do forest gen. Uh, the size, um, I think it's just you can do large, and then your type of trees is um let's just do we'll just do regular tree but you have option of big tree birch redwood tall redwood pine blah 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 and then uh the last one is the density now the density is anything greater than one or uh yeah and that's just without oh no number expected oh okay let's just do 10 so six trees created and uh there you go that doesn't look like six is it oh yeah here we go now if you want to make a big tree you can just do big tree bam and now that's just a way that you can generate force really quickly now we got a few other um <clears throat> if you've placed water and um it's like running weird let's see i'll, I'll make some here there we go. Oh. Okay. No, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Don't worry. Don't worry. There we go. So now water's... No. Oh. Never mind. Hold on. Here we go. I got this. It's cool. All right. So now you can fix water. If you just type in fix water. I don't think you need to put a size. Let me see. Oh, fix water. 10. So now it does that. You do the same thing with lava. Fix lava. You can drain. Let's. I've never played with this one. Let's try this. Drain. Um, Ten. Oh, okay. So now it drains water from all around you. And it just fills right back in. And then you can just do fix water. Ten. 
Uh, you could do, uh, I think that works on lava as well. Then you can also put snow on here. Snow. You can, now it's going to put snow down. Do the same thing with thaw, which will remove snow. You can do uh, EX, which is going to extinguish fires. You can, this is, this one's really helpful. This is going to butcher any hostile mobs in the area uh, killed 88 mobs they're probably all underground because I don't see them and then you can do um, a remove entities you can search for an item all right so now okay so now the next one is the super pickaxe if you um, want to clear out a big large area or something you can uh, do SP area 3 now this is going to mode change left click with the pickaxe. So you grab a pickaxe and then when you click it's going to clear out a 3x3 three three cuboid basically. So some other informations you got um, uh, chunk info. You can see all the information on the chunk info. You can list chunks in a selection if you have a big selection. All right, so then the next thing let's do let's do some scripts. Um, the one is the maze. The this one is very helpful. Now um, the commands that you're gonna put into it is CS, which is, signifies that you're running a script. So then maze.js. Then you want um, the type of block. We're just gonna use stone because that's easy. And then um, you want the width and the in the length base. So let's make it ten by ten. Bam. And so now. The entrance is where you're standing, and the exit is going to be the complete opposite corner of where you were, I believe is how it works. Or it's going to be the opposite side. Um, I think it looks like it uh, puts it wherever you want, wherever it wants. Um, but there you go. That's a maze. Um, let's see. And then the next one to try is the roof. So I'll show you this one. We're going to select it like we did in the part one. And then you're going to select this one. And now let's make a roof. And so we're going to go CS roof.js. And then uh, we'll just make it out of glass. So there you go. Bam. It makes a roof. Pyramid. Whatever you want to call it. I suppose you can use it as well for a pyramid. But the pyramid doesn't. You have to know the exact middle for the pyramid to work. This works where you just select each corner of the roof and then it does that. Um, there's also a draw in there, which, um, works for if you want to like make some image files and all that stuff. Um, and then there's a quick shot, which is a way that you can fill out signs quickly. Um, there you go. That's about it. I don't know if I'm going to get too much more into the advanced stuff because I don't really use it too much. I'll leave that to the people who use it because they'll understand it a lot better. But that's, uh, those two parts help you get started on world edit if you found this uh video helpful let me know in the comments and uh, give a like um if you have a question on any other tutorial maybe you want i haven't done a video on one that you use you'd like some help on it let me know i'll do my best otherwise um yeah this is cos from mcfriends and uh as always enjoy oh, my cheating. cheating turn around <laughs> Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonesome and I'm never coming back.